From tech companies to the White House, America's efforts to get girls to choose careers in science is well documented. And the Bureau of Labor Statistics says it's one of the fastest growing fields in the United States. So why aren't more girls who get good grades at school moving up the ladder and the pay scale at work? Local 12 Sheila Gray takes a look in this Family 411 report. High school senior Hannah Ziegelmeyer is a National Merit Scholar. Junior Kelsey Sutcher scored a perfect 36 on the ACT college entrance exam. Both feel right at home in the science lab. I love science and I really like the math part of science is more where I love. But I just love how it's so logical. I know I like nature and the environment and so I'm going into environmental engineering. The Federal Bureau of Labor Statistics reports a projected 4.2 million science jobs by 2020. That translates into endless opportunities for girls, especially girls at the top of their class like Hannah and Kelsey. But the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or OECD, says women still don't hold as many jobs in science, and those who do make an average of 15 percent less than men. When it comes to science, girls consistently score higher than boys here at school. It's not the same in the working world. Working women and researchers believe it comes down to confidence. College, I felt welcomed by the professors, my classmates, everything. It's when you go out into the real world. It was way different. You don't know where you fit. Terry Perino worked in design engineering and computer science before becoming a science teacher. First of all, tell me what you're trying to find. When she started out 19 years ago, women like her were few and far between and weren't necessarily welcome in a man's world. She says as the workplace changes, girls' confidence will follow. There's more of us out there saying that you can do it. I feel that I'm pretty confident. Everyone always jokes that I kind of have a big ego. It helps that Hannah and Kelsey go to an all-girls high school, where it doesn't enter the picture that girls can't do something boys or men do. It's how they feel is going to affect me and what I do, and I'm still going to do what I love and try to make a difference. Parents can make a difference in girls' confidence by helping them identify their strengths and teaching their sons to accept women with goals. Perino says we should also make sure their goals are their own. You're not going to make it through if you're not doing it for yourself. But if it's what you want, don't let anyone stop you. Yes, that's exactly it. Sheila Gray, Local 12 News. The Libra Library rather, of Congress has books and other resources to encourage girls in science and math. We have a link at local12.com. Just click on the red Get It button.